Atrial fibrillation is a heart rhythm disturbance. It's the most common heart rhythm disturbance, and although it can occur at younger ages, it's usually going to occur in people over 65, and by about 75 years of age, perhaps 15% of people have it. It can cause symptoms, it can cause shortness of breath, palpitations, although lots of things cause palpitations, it can even cause heart failure. Most importantly, it can cause stroke, probably most importantly, but it is often asymptomatic. It may only be detected on a cardiograph, on a cardiac monitor, or when a doctor takes your pulse, and it doesn't have to be there all the time. So some people are always in it, chronically, but most patients probably actually only have it for short periods of time. But if you have it for short periods of time or long periods of time, your risk of stroke can still be quite high. And that risk can vary in those over 65 from, say, 5% per year, um, but more commonly is higher than that per year for most patients and even rise up to something you know, like 20% per year depending on what other risk factors they have. Now the atrial fibrillation itself sometimes needs to have medication itself to control the heart rate. Some people are also on what are called drug, rhythm control drugs to try and prevent it, although um, those are probably less common now. Mostly it's about controlling the heart rate uh, when the atrial fibrillation is there. But the, one of the biggest fatal and disabling risks you have with, with uh, atrial fibrillation is the risk of stroke. And that's fatal and disabling quite often. And it's important that older people realise that the actual risk of death from a stroke, at least in the first few weeks, with atrial fibrillation is about 20%, which is certainly not everybody passing away. But the risk of disability is much, much higher than that. And so to get a stroke with atrial fibrillation is more about being disabled and, the, and using an anticoagulant such as warfarin or one of the newer agents depending on your own particular circumstances, tailoring the drug to your needs. Um, those drugs will very effectively reduce that risk of death and disability.